four or five years ago would have never saw myself here would have never saw myself here i'm like okay i'm really doing this i feel like i'm really walking in this purpose i'm walking where i'm supposed to be i'm where i'm supposed to be and i know i'm where i'm supposed to be because my blessings are lined up with where i'm stepping Hey Battle Face, welcome back to another vlog. It's me, Andrea, and y'all, we still, once again, we in uniform. Let's go ahead and start my car. It is Friday, y'all. It's Friday, um, are you done? It's Friday morning, it is 0740 in the morning, and I just finished getting ready for work because y'all, today, I just realized I forgot my ring upstairs. Let me go and get that. Today is supposed to be the day. I am finally done clearing. I should be getting my last stamp. I should be getting my DD-214 and I should be completely and officially done clearing out of my unit, clearing out of installation. And I'm just hoping that's the case because clearing has been so difficult for absolutely no reason at all. And I genuinely do not understand it. Y'all, I'm trying to think. Okay, yeah, it's upstairs. Let me go ahead and get my ring. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here and go ahead and start a vlog because it is Friday. So the weekend is about to start. Um, if I can go ahead and finish clearing today, I'm going to officially be done and just waiting for my last day in the army to come and go. And I'm so excited. Trey starts his um, permissive TDY leave on Monday. So this weekend, I'm honestly trying to just get ready. Cause So the thing is, I think we're about to go ahead and try to have a little vacation. We about to try to go on vacation real quick. We're supposed to be going down to Miami, but I kind of want to turn it into a road trip because all the places that we'll be passing on the way there because we're going to drive. I want to turn it into like a little road trip where we're stopping off and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I can't. I'm excited and I can't wait. So I need to be getting ready for that. One, I need to pack. Two, I need to plan out the trip. Three, I need to like clean the house and make sure everything is clean before we go. Four, I need to redo my nails because now they looking all raggedy, y'all. And one of, I think, in one of my vlogs, I was showing y'all that I was doing my nails and I did my toes to match my nails. So this is what I'm working with right now. Ignore the fact that they're out of this one anyways, out of regulation, okay? They're coming off. But yeah, this hand I feel like looks worse, yeah. But y'all, this is what I be doing at home by myself with my Amazon kits and stuff like that. These are press ones. They're press ones. They usually look way better than this. I just been experimenting and trying to learn how to actually polish. I can't polish, that's the issue. So I'm gonna be doing my nails this weekend, trying to figure out if I'm just gonna be leaving my hair like this or if I wanna try to do something with it, who knows. Am I becoming a DIY girly? Yes, I am. I need to go and get my ring real quick. I'm trying to figure out what I wanna eat for breakfast. Y'all, I did not do my hair. I literally didn't do my hair. I just sprayed and wet my edges and put a scarf on it so they can at least lay flat. <laughs> So I'm looking like a mess. I'm prepared to get out of uniform. So yeah, but I'm thinking I'm not going to get hash browns this morning. I am going to go to Chick-fil-A and get my um, yeast rolls with my honey butter because I got time. It is 0744 now and yeah i don't have to necessarily be around the company until nine because nobody really starts coming into work until about nine o'clock because the only thing i have to clear now is my unit so yeah i got time i don't even know why i was up this early why i'm just so happy to be in uniform and going to post but yeah let me go get my ring okay what was i doing y'all first of all i know y'all been seeing me vlogging in the gym i know y'all been seeing me vlogging with this new camera and when i say i am loving this camera i'm loving this camera so much it's so fun um oh that's what i was doing i gotta take my medication real quick take my medication every morning with my little arrow chamber here because this works and i'm just so excited let me see my medicine you see these little white bugs that's like trying to come for my life <sighs> i told them i was waiting on you because i saw you was close because i got that location on you look at you know who on you oh hell no 
I'm gonna turn that shit up. Go ahead, turn it off. I'm gonna throw an air tag in your in your bag. I'm gonna throw an air tag in your truck. No, I'm gonna go go put an air tag in your tire. Find that. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm about to go to Chick Fil A and get my yeast rolls with extra honey butter. Bread. Yeast rolls. <laughs> <laughs> With extra honey butter. I'm trying to make it sound fancy. <laughs> but I'll get some bread and honey. That was crazy. No, but I'm excited. Today is supposed to be the day. I better be getting a DD214. Well, another one? No, the other one was just a review. No. Like, they just make sure everything on it is correct. And then um. this one, like, when I actually turn all my stuff in, it's the official one. Like, this is the one I need to make sure I hold on to. Yeah. So, yeah. It's honorable this drive, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it said honorable with a promotion. Mm -hmm. For real. You still walking out with that? That's crazy. I know, that's crazy. Yes. Staff are in Augustine now. That's, <laughs> at least they put some respect on my name in the end. They gave him my flowers at the end. You're changing that thing. So cute. Well, I ain't paying money Thanks. for this one, but I'm about to leave. I'm about to leave. I'm about to pick Yo, look at. What are you doing? What the hell? Look at his face. Oh my god. <laughs> the neighbors are watching. <laughs> go ahead. Go get your little go get your little shower or whatever. <laughs> to work out videos. You can run that one. <laughs> you gonna run that one. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anywho, anywho, I'm on my way to Chick-fil-A now, but let me get this up off the floor because it's just all over the place right now. Y'all ended up buying this <laughs> this gingerbread um what is it the gingerbread syrup from Starbucks and it was only like five dollars and I'm so happy about that because I like putting it in my little, little, what is it what are we doing I like putting it in my chai latte my iced chai but I haven't, obviously, I haven't done it yet. I literally just bought it yesterday. I'm just so happy. It was just randomly sitting on the counter. It was two of them for $4.49. And I was like, oh my gosh, I think I have to buy that. So I grabbed it. And so I think when I get home later today, I'm going to go ahead and make me a little ice chai. Yeah. Oh, I got to give me some more chai. Okay, so I got to stop at the store later because I do have to pick up something to cook tonight. But I'm going to make my ice chai, put it in there, and I'm going to see if it tastes like it was tasting when I was getting from Starbucks. So we gonna see. But I'm about to go ahead and finish watching Army Barbie's vlog that she just uploaded. And then a true crime that I see that the misery machine just uploaded. And I'm gonna talk to y'all later. What's up so i just got to my units and it's 0 9 10 so i'm gonna still wait another 20 minutes before i go in to start getting my papers and stuff signed um only because i feel like it's appropriate the duty day don't start until about 9 30 um and i see people walking in so i'm just gonna wait but in the meantime y'all it is time for me to renew my nursing license so um hate when I forget to connect to the freaking Wi-Fi okay anywho so yes my LPN license is due to expire on June 30th and so starting on the first I was able to <clears throat> I was able to go ahead and renew let's see T-bone license renewal so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now so this is my first time actually renewing my license I feel like the first time um, it happened automatically so I'm so confused right now and I literally do not know what I'm doing so neither one of those is it hmm. so maybe I don't have an account all right so I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this real quick I'm gonna see y'all after because I feel like this is about to take me some time I have to go to the bathroom so bad oh my goodness I'm about to get up out of here but I finally it's about to be 10 o'clock and I finally my stomach hurts so bad 
I finally was able to update all my information and renew my license so now my license don't expire until 2026 and the only other thing I have to do is get a copy of that but I'm gonna end up doing all this when I get home but I gotta get a copy of that send it into the compliance on Complio for the school that I'm going to because they already sent me the message telling me that my license is about to expire and I gotta stay in compliance with that and that's about it so let me go ahead got a potty so let me go ahead and I got a burp and it look like I'm running out of space on this SD card it's fine um yeah let me go ahead and go in here everybody should be in here at the moment and get the signatures that I need so I can go ahead and finish clearing I cannot believe it's about to be 10 o'clock so now I have like an hour and a half to try to rush around and do as much as I can it shouldn't be that much but yeah hold on we about to get up out of here oh my god body. all right y'all it's a few more stops hold on oh my head I have a pain in my head and I feel like it's a migraine it might be a migraine because I feel some I feel a little nauseous too and I'm usually oh it's like right here yeah it's definitely a migraine because I usually feel a little nauseous when it comes to my migraines let me see it's called medications that's why I keep them things on me. Ooh, what are we doing? God, jeez, weirdo. Anyway, so I'm leaving right now. I got three more places to stop. So now I have to go to the last three places that's on my checklist, pick up my DD-214, get my stamp, come back here, get my leave signed off on, and then go to um, finance so I can finish everything out. And y'all, I am done. I am done. I don't know y'all, I can't help myself because as I'm walking out right, there's brand new soldiers, you can tell they're straight out of AIT and they're sitting there or whatever. And I'm like walking out the door, I was gonna kinda ignore them. They, I don't know, I just couldn't, especially when they like, I love seeing soldiers that have all that discipline. They're super respectful and they just look so scared. And so I, I walked out and then I'm like, mm, I'ma just ask. I came back in and I was like, I could have made that I came back in and I was like are you guys new and they're like oh yeah um, I'm like oh is this your unit and they were telling me that they're about to be training and stuff like that in the hospital and I'm like oh what's your MOS you know just talking to them and stuff like that and just telling them like yeah this is a it's a pretty nice unit like this is a good first you know first unit to be in I think you're really gonna like it I was telling them a little bit about the hospital and stuff like that and it was just like a nice little conversation so I love that I feel like this is gonna sound so corny and so like cliche but that's honestly one of the parts i'm gonna miss the most is being able to like talk to soldiers and just make them feel comfortable and welcomed and stuff like that like that's what i love like i love that so much especially when you see soldiers that are so hopeful and they're just so motivated and like they just look so young and you just <laughs> they just look so young you gotta you, i want to protect you with my entire life that's how i feel about my soldiers so um yeah yeah i'm gonna miss that part i'm gonna miss that part a lot i love being mentored and i love being the mentor so yeah but i'm gonna go ahead and take this pill pop that under my tongue um and yeah go and get done hey y'all what's up it's saturday morning it is i don't even know what time it is it's 8 18 what is this i keep stepping on this it's 8 18 on a saturday morning and i did not vlog for the rest of the day yesterday yeah i didn't vlog i won't lie i was low-key irritated again but i'm gonna tell y'all about that later maybe if i remember but um as far as today goes it's not about to be anything special i feel like i'm making today like a content day not really making content i do have to film Sam getting a bath today so I can just have that footage and edit it because me and Trey are going on a trip so I just want to make sure I have everything I need while I'm out there to be editing and sending to the people I need to send it to and honestly just catch up in editing because I feel like I have one two I have like three vlogs just in my SD cards that I need to um Y'all yeah, look a mess right now. I have like three vlogs on my SD cards I need to edit and just um, 
upload on private just so I can be ready to make them live on my channel. One I'm already editing, so I have two more left on this SD card, including this vlog like right now that I'm filming. So I'm like, okay, I need to hurry up and edit that one, get rid of that footage so I can go ahead and put the one of the vlogs on this SD card in my iPad because I have like 30 minutes left to record on this SD card. So yeah, it's been a lot. I've been I've been working, but not really working because obviously I have all these vlogs I'm not editing. But yeah, now that I have some free time, that is kind of like my priority today because I kind of want to clear SD card to go on this Miami trip. Me and Trey are about to go on. So I'm excited. And then there was something else I was about to say. Oh, I'm about to make breakfast. I am about to <clears throat> make some breakfast. I'm about to make a breakfast bowl and French toast for me and Trey. And then just chill and honestly watch reruns of Rick and Morty because that's what I've been obsessed with. Ooh, the Spy versus Family. They finally have the second season with dub episodes on it. So I might watch that at some point today. I might start from the beginning, actually. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start from the beginning and watch it with Trey. But yeah, that's about it. I just wanted to come on, just continue with the vlog. It's about to be a busy day. But I'm gonna see y'all a little bit later when I'm like editing or like some downtime or something like that. What is this? What is this? Oh, it's a nail thing? Oh, that's perfect, I need that. Okay, I'm getting distracted. I'm gonna see y'all later. God, you call me by my name The love you give me, I just can't deny No longer blinded, I can feel I'm on my way to meet you We gotta talk, you know All these trials and tribulations Got me tired, I need rest And I heard that I can come to you When weary of my flesh You awake me from death God, I need you I'm more walking by the flesh, that's when I leave God told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone, told me I'm, told me I'm Told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone Know that I'm someone, No, I'm a child of God I wanna go to Godly way, close to your love again I give my heart again, Jesus I wanna go to Godly way Close to your love again I give my heart again, Jesus I know you know me well I feel invisible until you tell me you're right here I cancel plans with you to be with sin and break your heart Sometimes I go to you for what you give, not who you are I wonder if you'll leave for me God, just tell me what you need for me Hey y'all, what's up? I just left the gym. Um, I didn't record because it's Monday and if y'all watched my last vlog, you saw my Monday's root workout routine. Um, so I didn't record in there and on top of that, I was trying to like get in, get out and just hurry up and be done. But y'all, I'm at the commissary right now because I, I was gonna go home and cook. I was gonna make some chicken, baked macaroni and cheese and sweet potatoes but i just so happened to stumble across this tutorial on how to make ribs in an oven and y'all i love me some ribs i love me some ribs so much but i don't have a grill i don't have a grill and i do not feel like grilling i don't feel like going to buy a grill and these ribs just look so good so i'm about to go ahead and run into the commissary real quick get all of the extra what are we doing get all the extra ingredients and stuff that I need to try to make these ribs and then hurry up home because it's about to be 1500 literally in a minute and one of the steps was let the ribs sit in the oven um, on 275 for two hours so that means I need to hurry up get this stuff go home and start cooking so I can like hurry up like hurry up so it can be done in time for dinner and stuff like that so 
yeah it's super busy as usual i feel like the commentary is always busy i was going to try to take my camera in there and get a little bit of you know a little bit of footage just to put into the vlog like that but no mm -mm, i'm not that brave yet so i'm about to go ahead and go up in here and get these groceries and then i'm gonna probably see y'all when i'm actually cooking because for whatever reason my camera battery completely died when i was in the gym i wasn't even using the camera but it had completely died so i have it sitting on the charger in the car right now so yeah y'all i'm low-key stressed out because there was a vlog that i uploaded yesterday and it's supposed to be uploading and on private but i'm looking at it and it's still not uploading and i am so scared i am so scared that it's like not going to upload i hope not i deleted all the footage i don't have the vlog anymore so yeah so i'm hoping that work out that's another reason i'm trying to hurry up and rush home so i can put my ipad on the actual my wi-fi since it's strong and fast and see what happens because i don't know what's going on with this that is so weird it literally said it was done uploading last night and now this so we gonna see what happens please 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 work because there was such cute little footage of me and trey that i would want to look back on so let me get in the store if your glory was to come in, let it fall we want it all your fire is consuming fill this place and set it up You're the fire, You're the, fire. the refiner. refiner. I wanna be consumed. Oh, I wanna be tried by fire. Yeah, yeah. Purified. Lord, take whatever you desire. Yeah. Lord, here's my life. I wanna be tried. it is tuesday is it tuesday morning i think it's tuesday it gotta be tuesday yesterday was monday it's tuesday morning and let me tell y'all why i was so irritated yesterday oh my god okay so first of all cooks y'all saw that but y'all i lost an entire vlog like a whole entire vlog a whole entire edited vlog that I ended up throwing up on YouTube, right? I put it up on YouTube, everything uploaded, but then the next day when I looked, it kept saying uploading again, and it kept saying, oh, four more minutes. Then after four minutes, four more minutes. After four hours, it's still saying four more minutes, so it wasn't working. I get home, I connect to the internet. I feel like I talked to y'all about that, but I get home, I connected to the internet, and it was just gone. It was just gone. It was like a whole entire vlog just going. I spent all day, all day editing that vlog. Do y'all know how irritated I was? Like that was a whole entire days of work. Just gone. It wasn't really anything like, like crucial to my storyline right now, but it's just, just a cute vlog of like me and Trey dropping. It was, it was things in there that was important. The most important part was the end because the things that I was saying, it's like I was speaking straight from the heart through God and I was just... I don't know what happened. I have no clue what happened. And then um, yesterday I ended up getting a copyright claim. Today, this morning, I just woke up to another copyright claim. So I'm like, okay, is somebody just hitting my channel again for whatever reason? Because I went through that before. And yeah, but one of the copyright claims is finally gone. They said there's nothing there. So now I'm dealing with it again. And it's just, it's just a mess right now. Like it's just a mess. I cannot believe I lost an entire video. An entire vlog so yeah that sucks so the vlog before this one is kind of gonna be out of order but not really it's gonna be fine you probably won't even notice but yeah that sucks so now i have to try to hurry up and um edit another video because i kind of wanted to have two videos locked and loaded ready to go um because because i'm busy okay i'm busy and i don't i don't know I was trying to record in advance, but 
Mm. So yeah, I'm still a bit irritated because I don't understand with these claims and stuff like that, what's going on. But anyway, yeah, it is Tuesday morning. I really don't plan on doing anything too much today. I just made me a little chai tea and it's so good, y'all. Hold on. These two syrups and my chai tea with this chai tea in half and half and a little bit of ice is so freaking good it's so good it's so crazy because i had the gingerbread latte from starbucks when they had it at starbucks when it was in season look at this sexy mofo right here <laughs> when it was in season and it was never this good i feel like it's just because i'm putting way too much syrup in there but it's so good. But what I'm doing right now, about to make some breakfioni. What you about to do? Ooh, we about to go to the gym. He's high speed. No? He's high speed. He usually goes to the gym way earlier than this. He's crazy. On vacation. On, vac <laughs> on vacation. Just wait. We gotta we gotta be living that retirement life together. It's it's coming. We gotta speak it into existence. God gonna deliver. Most definitely. But he about to go to the gym. I'm about to make some breakfast. So do you want me to just have in there? I'll just have it ready when you get there. No, you made it. Okay. I'm, about to to I'm like, gym. Are you trying to eat it before or after you go? <sighs> but yeah, that was my frustration. I was telling him about the vlog I lost. I kept this one piece out of the vlog of me and Trey um, in the car, taking him to the airport. And it was just so cute. Y'all, the vlog was just cute, okay? I think that's why I'm irritated it was gone. It was nothing really that important. It was just cute. The part of me and Trey going to the airport, that was honestly my favorite part. So for whatever reason, for whatever reason, I took that part specifically and I saved it. And so I'm glad I still have that part. So yeah, yeah. But let me go ahead and go make this breakfast. I'm about to turn on Rick and Morty and chill for the morning and then edit the next video that's going up before this one. my paddle bays welcome to wednesday morning it is literally 0700 and i'm heading to first watch <laughs> i'm heading to first watch my nco ended up texting me yesterday and he's basically asking me when i wanted to do my going away and for those of you that don't know a going away is literally just it can be a big gathering it can be a small gathering the type of person i am i low-key didn't want anything at all but with the group that i'm with I'm okay with it. I'm okay with spending some time with them because y'all know how much I love the people I work with, like my job, all of that. I talked about that in the last vlog that accidentally got deleted. Y'all, I'm so mad that vlog got deleted because I showed y'all like my certificates, my retirement flag. I showed y'all all those things, but I'll have to reshow that to y'all like at some point later like little things that's in that vlog is coming to mind and i'm just remembering but um yeah i love my job so much and he texted me yesterday and he's just asking me if i want to come to breakfast with them and have my farewell and stuff like that yes i do so um yeah we're about to go to first watch and i have to look up hold on y'all i don't know where it's at i think they're gonna be there by 7 30 where is my It's gonna be a long time. 28 minutes. Oh yeah, we gotta go. We gotta go. Got my ID. I got my wallets, phone, backpack, iPad, computer. I really wish my neighbors moved this freaking pool that they have just sitting in the freaking front yard. Just have I don't know. My neighbors be getting on my nerves. Um let me not talk mess about people. But no, they really do be getting on my nerves because since we got the fence, I feel like I showed y'all the fence too. Y'all, it's a lot of stuff that was in that vlog that I feel like I needed to talk because it just makes sense. But anyway, yeah, we have a fence now um, for Yusuke and the kids, they, the neighbors, the, ki the neighbor's kids, they have a lot of kids over there, first of all. Second of all, they just be doing stuff like they be at first it was they would just let their little dog come over before we had the fence they would just let their little dog come over poop in our yard and stuff like that and it's not even like 
like it would literally be right in front of the stairs like the moment you step down if you aren't paying attention you'll step into some dog poop um they'll just let their dog run up because y'all know i used to feed the stray cats they don't come around anymore now unfortunately but um yeah they would just let their dogs run on the porch and eat the cat food and just lounge around and pee and just like they would literally you're letting you're letting your dog do that because it was a point in time when i ended up going out there and um I'm looking at the dog literally poop right in front of the stairs and the dad standing right there on the porch just watching. Did not pick it up, nothing. And I was so irritated. I will be sending videos to Trey and stuff of like the kids doing stuff, the dogs doing stuff when he was still in Louisiana. But since we got a fence, now the kids are throwing sticks and throwing balls and toys and stuff over in the yard. Now, at first I would just throw them back over or hop tree, just throw them back over. Now, I know it's gonna sound mean, but I'm just throwing everything in the trash. You throw a toy over here on the porch, it's going in the trash. Sticks and stuff like that, we just throw them back over into the other yard because like, <laughs> It's irritating because you he chokes on these sticks. Like there's certain sticks we don't let him get because he's he chokes on them and they're throwing them over. Cause I remember again, this was in the last vlog. I'm so mad. Cause I caught it. I'm like looking at him on the porch and I'm like, what is he doing? He's like gagging on something. Y'all, I had to throw on gloves and take a chunk of stick out of his throat because he ended up getting a hold of a stick that one of the kids threw over and he's choking on it. He got, it's like in pieces all over the place. And I'm like, he got another stick. So yeah, they're starting to get on my nerves again. But that's the that's point. That's not what this vlog is about. Um, I mean, honestly, what is this vlog about? I feel like this is a random vlog at this point. But yeah, I'm about to go ahead and head over here. And oh my goodness, I'm going to be like, I'm not going to be late because it's telling me I'm going to get there at 0731. But I kind of wanted to be there a little early so I can sit in the parking lot for like five, 10 minutes, gather myself, and then walk in. But it's fine. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think I was supposed to go to the gym today. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to. Only because I should have packed some gym stuff as I'm heading over here. God dang it. Dang. And this is why I keep gym stuff in the car. This is why I keep gym stuff in my bag. That sucks. No, and I don't need to buy any more clothes, so I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, I'm just probably not gonna go today because I really do not feel like driving all the way over here just to, like back over here to get my workout clothes and then driving all the way back just to go to the gym because again, we live 30 minutes away from everything. So I just don't wanna do that. That's the reason why it's taking 30 minutes to get to the freaking first watch. We're literally 30 minutes away from everything. People, like if, if it wasn't an on post situation, that wouldn't be a bad thing, but it's just so random i don't know so yeah after that i think i'm going to i'm gonna go ahead and probably order trey some food um chilling chill in the parking lot until that's ready study a little bit and then just go back home and study yeah because i need i got other stuff i gotta do anyway so don't leave me like that y'all it's hours later hours later since y'all seen that last clip of me going to my breakfast with my co-workers because i did film something afterwards like just a little update just letting you guys know how it went showing y'all my plaque showing y'all my award talking about the food because that was the first time i had been to first watch what else i had ordered trey some food before i even left it was just the whole thing right it was cool y'all it's hours later i recorded that and it was in slow-mo so it is 15 48 and it is I think the last, the last that re that recording was at like zero seven fifteen or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I accidentally recorded that whole clip in slow motion. So now I gotta really, really pay attention to what I'm doing. Cause I did that when I was in the gym too, and I was recording. Everything was in slow motion, and I only caught it because when I got up, cause when I, the only reason why I caught it is because when I just picked up my camera to record, I see that it's in slow motion, and I'm like. How much you want to bet that last clip was in slow motion and sure enough it was so um which is weird i wonder yeah it's all in slow motion it's all in slow motion um i ended up coming home taking a nap i was just so tired i had a headache i was exhausted so yeah that's that i'm actually supposed to be rushing out while i'm over here trying to be running my mouth what is oh <laughs> 
I'm rushing out because I need to run to the store so I can grab another rack of ribs because y'all I made ribs not yesterday but the day before and they turned out pretty good but I didn't give them enough time to cook so I'm hoping I can hurry up and go and get them so I can start again I already have the sides and stuff made I'm gonna eat the leftovers and stuff I just need to make the ribs um yeah I just need more time so I need about four or five hours and by the time I'm done making it it should be about nine we don't have to go to work so it's not like we have to be sleep early but this is honestly for my own self because i just want to make them and like perfect them but this is my run my errands outfit real quick hey you ski now let's go wait i need my keys actually let's get up out of here i should have my wallet and everything else in the car I really want to test out that ND filter that's on this camera. That's one thing that I haven't gotten to test out just yet. Ooh. What's up with that? What was that just about? Hold on. Oh my goodness. Let me go ahead and take this off for a second. I'm honestly not... Um, I'm not y'all I woke up from this nap right feeling it's so crazy because I woke up feeling like super <sighs> I want them to move this freaking pool anyway I woke up from this nap not too long ago it was literally like maybe five minutes ago I'm like rushing out to get these ribs but y'all I felt so come like just so eh but at the same time I felt immediately afterwards i felt blessed i just felt so blessed i felt so covered it's so crazy because like with all the things that i have going on because i'm still like i feel like i'm in a i'm in a better place but i'm not where i want to be just yet like mentally i'm not where i want to be i'm still stressing about way too many things way too hard and strong like i stress a lot okay i got my id i stress a lot and so there's a lot of things still up in the air right now even though things are finally starting to fall into place there's still a lot of things that's like up in the air that i'm worried about that i just want things to you know i just want things to work out and even though i haven't been as stressed out as much ha as i have been i'm still stressed and so i woke up immediately thinking about eighteen thousand things and i'm like why is this even a thing right now and i kid you not it's so crazy because usually when it happens i'm like just done for the rest of the day like i'll lay in bed and i'm just like i'm just over it like what and like i feel like no matter what or how many things i accomplish there's still more waiting for me to do and i can't take a break y'all this time i woke up feeling that and almost immediately the thought crashed into all those extra thoughts and i just felt blessed immediately like i just felt blessed i felt at peace i felt accomplished i just felt so proud because i'm looking around and it was what did it for me i'm laying there and i'm just like oh my goodness i still have to record this i still have to do this i still have to study uh why couldn't i just pass the C uh, the csc when i took it the first time now i have to keep dedicating time trying to study like i'm just thinking about all these things that i didn't accomplish yet and then I ended up taking a glimpse at, I was looking at my perfume and I know this is probably gonna sound so stupid, but I was looking at my perfume and y'all know the size of my fragrance collection. I was specifically looking at my YSL perfumes cause I have the three, there's two more that I want, but I have the three lined up and I was looking at one specific one and I was like, all of this perfume. And then I remember, I remember like years ago wishing i could have even one good fragrance i was you know i still love bath and body works i still have quite a bit of body spray that i um pair with my fragrances but i remember when i wanted to like go to bath and body works and i could barely afford to get anything from bath and body works like i was so jealous and i and yes i'm saying jealous because i believe that's what it was i was so jealous of the girls that was able to have all of these like nice things and they were able to get all of this stuff from bath and body works and like they just had really nice things and it's so crazy because looking back on it now these things weren't super expensive they they shouldn't have they I was so bad off I couldn't afford even 
the small things right so i'm looking at these fragrances and almost immediately i'm just like i am blessed i'm so blessed i'm so lucky to have what i have look at this perfume look at this is something that i wish i could have i kid y'all not i wish i had my goals list from like like i want to say probably three years ago on that goals list i literally put i wanted to have some fragrances and i put 20 fragrances 20 fragrances i don't know when you operate for so long in scarcity you feel like you just need more and more and more and i feel like that's why so many people when you when you come up and you start making a lot of money or, or you have more than you're used to having a lot of us tend to buy bigger and buy more and do more because of that scarcity mindset let me go ahead and get this just in case or i never had this before i can't believe i can do this let me go ahead and get it and people judge people based off what they do with their money given how they grew up and how the, the things that they had to overcome the things that they have to deal with i don't that's none of my business all i know is the mind and the, the mindset i operate within and i feel like that was me especially back then when i'm like yeah i want 20 fragrances i want 20 pair of shoes and i want 20 outfits i want 20 bras and 20 undies and i want them to match and i just wanted things that people have like things that aren't hard to get if i'm if i'm making sense at all because it wasn't anything extravagant definitely not anything that i have right now and i just wanted just i just wanted the basics you know what i'm saying and i have that and then some these are things i'm pray i prayed for back then i'm literally living in my prayers i'm living in my prayers but anyway as i'm looking at that perfume i'm like i am so blessed like i cannot believe it like look at the size of this fragrance collection that i have i wasn't able to afford a freaking perfume a body wash at bath and body works at one point and i'm able to have all of these fragrances and whatever other fragrances I, I I wish to purchase, you know what I'm saying? It was, I just felt blessed. And then that feeling of being blessed just started pouring over into other things. And I'm just like, you know what? Look at this fragrance collection. And then look at the dressers. I've had these dressers screenshotted for so long and I just wanted this setup. I just, I always wanted a, a bed with a headboard and I have that. And it also has a footboard. And I have the car that I've been wanting so much and it has more than I could ever imagine being in it. And it's just perfect. And then I have this beautiful husband and look at my ring, I like y'all. I was just, I'm just grateful for the things that I have. Like me, four or five years ago would have never saw myself here. Would have never saw myself here. And then I'm like, I am 31 years old. I am 31 years old and I'm retired. I am retired. I am retired. I feel like I prayed so hard for this. Like y'all don't understand. I feel so i'm just in awe right now i'm just and i understand like blessings come and they come and they come but even it's moments where you have to sit in it when you like when everything just hits you at once and you just have to sit in it because i remember i remember wanting free time i remember wanting free time so badly it was a point in time again when I had to have my sister come in and live with me and stuff like that to help me with the kids. I just wanted so badly to be something and someone in the military that I just was taking all of my time and putting it towards the military. And little things like my son, he stopped inviting me or stopped telling me about his little award ceremonies and stuff like that that we he would have because he knows that I can't make it. And he wasn't not telling me out of anger and he wasn't upset because I remember him telling me like, oh, I just, I just, I know you're not gonna be able to come so it's okay. Things like that I did not like. I didn't like the fact that I spent, my daughter spent so much time at the daycare that when she's saying stuff and she's wanting things, I couldn't understand it. I couldn't understand what she wanted. I couldn't understand what she was saying. But the people that's taking care of her, the daycare workers and stuff like that, they know my daughter better. They know what she's saying. They know what she wants. She's preferring them over me. And I just, I remember in those moments is when I started realizing, I'm like, I want more free time. And I started praying that I pray, I pray, I pray that some type of way I get to spend more time with my family and as a mom. And I wasn't following the right path, I guess. I wasn't listening to God in that moment. I was praying to him and I was asking for these things, but I obviously wasn't following his direction to get what I was praying for. 
but I was listening to my leadership. I was listening to my coworkers. I was listening to all these people telling me, oh, well, if you rank up higher, you'll have more free time. Once you, once you start making ranking, you, if you just got to get into this position or you just have to do this and things will get better, things will get easier. You'll be taken care of more. So I started pouring more into the military, literally getting nothing out of it. Not even a simple, like for things y'all, for things that I feel like was award worthy and don't get me wrong, I didn't come into the medical field and do the things that I'm doing for praise, for recognition. I genuinely love being in a medical field. I, gen I genuinely love what I do. But the fact that being in the military, when you do certain things that's worthy of awards, they just weren't given. They just weren't given. I can go ahead and show you guys all of the awards that I ended up having to type out for myself at the request of my leadership saying, hey, you did a good job on this. If you go ahead and type up an award, I'll go ahead and put it in for you. They never was willing to just type the award up for me. They they acknowledge the fact that I'm doing so well and I'm doing so good, but they would never want to type it up. And so I would type up all these awards for myself, turn it in, nothing would happen. So it's like, I'm doing all of this stuff for a good job. Good job, you did, mm, bam, you see, you see that? Boom, got you, good job. And here I am missing out on all these beautiful, precious moments with my kids, with my family and stuff like that. And I just, when I realized that I'm not going to make, I'm not going to be what I saw myself being in the military, no matter how hard I work, no matter how hard I push because of the people in charge of me, I started shifting my focus. And honestly, I feel like after so long of being a Seaburn specialist, that's why I'm like, I need to do something more. I need to do something more that I can use that will allow me this freedom. And that's when I started shifting. I re-enlisted to be a um, LPN. I ended up re-enlisting again to be an RT. I'm doing these things and, and following what I felt like God was telling me or the, the, the areas he was pushing me into. And I feel like for the first time i'm like doing things the right way i'm doing things the right way oh that's so long-winded and i was so random but it's like little things that i'll be thinking about randomly i'm like okay i'm really doing this i feel like i'm really walking in this purpose i'm walking where i'm supposed to be i'm where i'm supposed to be and i know i'm where i'm supposed to be because my blessings are lined up with where i'm stepping so i woke up and that what was on my mind the moment i woke up at first I was thinking like all negative and then boom, all this positivity just shoved itself into my brain and I'm like, I just feel good. Anyway, let me hurry up. I literally just said I need to rush out and get these ribs so I can start cooking. I just wanted to say that real quick <laughs> and then make sure y'all not in slow motion because when you record in slow motion, there's no audio obviously, but yeah, let me go ahead and get in here and I'm gonna see y'all at home when I'm cooking these ribs. His lies they told are so familiar They will haunt you, they will kill you Keep you hostage, king will heal you Before him, adore him He will give you everything Come and take your Can't way Can't keep going, going back To what I used to know Please hold my hand as I go down this road Can't keep going back to what I used to know But please hold my hand as I go down this road all right y'all i am heading out of food line i'm leaving food line i grabbed a few things um they have full-size watermelon i grabbed one of those and hopefully it's good because i grabbed a watermelon from what was that from where did i get that watermelon mm, i feel like i got it from here but that thing was not sweet it y'all heard that i hope my groceries are okay but that thing was not sweet it did not have no taste it was just bland as all listen mm -mm, we're not doing that so i had to throw away a whole watermelon such a waste of money mm -mm. but i came here to get ribs 
but I ended up just getting like milk butter and some extra things that I needed and I'm gonna head on post to grab my ribs because the ribs in this store was nothing but bones and I'll be damned if I'm about to pay $20 for a rack of bones let me take this jacket back off real quick Ooh, wait a second Oh my goodness. I don't even have boobs and they feel like they sweat. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and head on post real quick so I can grab some ribs and then rush back home. I'm so irritated because I really, really wanna get these ribs started. Like I don't wanna be up late doing this, but the upside is I don't have to make the sides because obviously, like I said, I'm eating the leftovers. So um, that's gonna save me a little bit of time. So I guess, when I put them in for the first two hours, I got time. I'm complaining about nothing. I got time. But yeah, I'm about to go ahead and listen to a video real quick. I'm watching some people's experiences and stuff in nursing school and just watching videos, listening to music. So I'm about to go ahead and continue to do that. I'm thirsty, so I need to stop at Starbucks because I want to get a pink drink. Actually, they have a new drink out. It's like some purple berry looking drink that I think I'm going to give it a try. <sighs> I'm going to give it a try. I hate giving stuff a try and it's not good, but I'm going to give it a try. But let me go ahead and drop these groceries off at home real quick before I head to the PX. And then I'm going to talk to y'all on my way to Starbucks. Where in the world is my card? Um, what's I was about to say. Y'all, I'm watching this interesting video. It is called, You're Not Becoming That Girl. You're Becoming Poor and In Debt. Yeah, mm-hmm. So I'm watching this and I've been watching a lot of videos like this and it is very, very interesting. It's kind of like trying to tear down the mindset you have of wanting to be something that you think that you're not needing to spend money and look like and have things just because. Hi, I'm just going to do a Venti, well, a Grande Summer Skies with light ice and that'll be all. All right, I'll see you at the end though. Thank you. Let's try this drink. Oh, they got an orange cream popsicle. Look like a pop cake, cake pop, pop cake. Okay, finally, it's my turn. It's my turn, Kim. Hello. Hello, 690 is your total today. Yes, I'm just gonna ask you a question before it'll let you tap. I've got your straw for you. Thank you. And then here is that summer skies. Thank you. You have a great day. You too, thank you. Oh my gosh, it's a thick straw. What are those little bubble, bo bubble juice things? I know what they are. I don't know what they're called though. Look at this thick straw. <sighs> Why do we act like we don't know how to drive? Anyway, here's the drink. You got the little boba things in it. It's like a purplish, bluish dreamy i got it the coconut um with the coconut milk the made the made the pink drink way but yeah i don't i'm not seeing nothing special about this it's like oh i know that wasn't my car the little things down here are good but mm, the drink itself is just like it's almost like a watered down juice mm, yeah like watered down juice i won't be getting this again I'm, I'm literally drinking it because i'm so thirsty and it's cold and the things at the bottom taste good but other than that i won't be getting this again I'll try they have it two other ways I'll try the other ways but other than that this mm -mm. unless you know what I mean I do that I'll probably try it again but I'll get it with less of the coconut milk and more of the base and see how they do with that because I feel like they just put way too much coconut milk in this yeah things are good though but I'm about to finish listening to my video and See y'all later. It is 1807. It's 1807. So needless to say, um, yeah, I'm not 
cooking those ribs tonight because again it's going to take me for a little over four hours to make these freaking ribs in the oven and yeah i'm gonna just go ahead and put that on hold until tomorrow because no mm -mm, we're not doing that so i ended up going to charlie's grabbing me and trey some food from charlie's and we just gonna call it for tonight at least that frees up my time i should be able to get this video edited and uploaded and stuff and then that will be it i literally am going to be completely caught up i'm so mad i lost that vlog but i'm going to be completely caught up in content and i can kind of start finally where i'm at right now so i'm excited about that but yes y'all i'm heading home i should be there in the next 20 minutes um again it's past it's past six at this point so i shouldn't hit traffic i usually hit traffic around 17 17 30 so it should be a nice even flow of traffic hopefully now let me go ahead i'm gonna shut this down right here and i'm gonna see y'all later i'm about to finish listening to my true crime Hey, my bottle pays. It's Thursday. It's Thursday morning. It's 9.05 on a Thursday. And yeah, I wanted to come on so I can go ahead and close this vlog down. Y'all, I feel like this is so random. I do not know where I'm at in this vlog at all. I will not lie to you. And yeah, I got a lot of stuff to do because I'm trying to prepare for this little weekend trip that me and Trey is taking starting tomorrow. So I want to go ahead and shut this vlog down and start a new vlog tomorrow or probably later today of me getting ready and stuff like that but yeah i wanted to go ahead and shut it down nothing really happened too crazy yesterday anyway i was just chilling out with trey editing studying catching up on emails stuff like that so nothing too crazy but i'm gonna go ahead and shut it down if you haven't already don't forget to hit subscribe and i'm gonna see you guys in the next one bye mm -hmm.